Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about how can we publish our ASP.NET MVC project into the Azure, which is one of the best cloud server in the world. This cloud server is supported by Microsoft. When you go here to the dashboard, you will see something called create resource. Of course, at first, you should create an account in Microsoft Azure. It is very simple. Just go to Google, write something like create account in Azure, and you will get the link and you can register your free account for 30 days. Now, let's start with click on create resource. Let's take web app. And here in the app name, I'm going to write something like Eden IT. So this will create an application for web with the name Eden IT. Then just go down and click on create. It will take some moments to create this app. Okay, as you can see here, deployment succeed, which means the application has been created. So now when we go here to the dashboard, you will see your app in the all resources, sorry, you will see your app, which is Eden IT. So when we click on this app, you can get a lot of configuration here and a lot of settings. Okay. And there is something called here, get publish profile, which is store all the information, all the required data to publish your ASP.NVC project inside Azure. So just click on get publish profile. This file has been downloaded. So I'm going to take this file, just cut this file and I'm going to paste it here on the desktop. Now, from Visual Studio, just go to the Solution Explorer, right click here on the project and select Publish, select Import, Browse, and select this file, which is Eden IT Publish Setting. OK, click on OK. Yes, as you can see here, we have got all the settings from the website. Just click on validate connection to make sure if everything is okay. Okay, now click on publish. That's it. Okay, as you can see here, add an IT dot azurewebsites.net so our website has been published to azure server so this is the simple way to publish your asp.net mvc project into the cloud server with the help of microsoft azure server okay see you in the next video